What's up you guys, it's Adon, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, please go take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I wanted to talk to you guys, um, cause I get this question like a, t a ton, you know, like well, what do I need to do to get into PA school? I made a video about this, like every single step that you need to take to get into PA school. So if you have not seen that video, go ahead right now. I'm gonna leave a link for that. Definitely go watch that video so you can kind of see a more detailed version. For those of you who are asking, am I on the right path to PA school? Like this video is for you. Receive it, receive it. I get a question in terms of like, undergrad like what should i major in what's the best major you know like that a lot right but i always tell you guys like it's not a matter of like what's the best major for pa school because like you can major in anything and still get into pa school we've had accountants and you know engineers in you know some of the cohorts that i'm aware of as long as you're taking the right prerequisites then you're good and so i think the main and thing that you should focus on initially are the prerequisite requirements for PA school. So if you are interested in a couple different programs, if you go and you look at those programs and you look at their prerequisites and line them up side by side so you can see where they may differ or if they differ at all, once you've gone through that process and you've looked at that, then you can kind of go ahead and look at your prerequisites that you have planned out for your undergraduate degree. And if it's in line with those prerequisites, you're on the right path to PA school. Kudos to you. Another thing that I think you all need to take a look at is, hey, when is like the GRE offered in an area that I, you know, live or that I go to school? Because a lot of PA schools require that you take the GRE. And so for that, you need to know like, all right, am I taking this during my junior year or I'm taking it during my senior year? Or like, when exactly am I trying to do this? Because the GRE is only good for five years. Yes five years. Because it's only good for five years, it is essential for you to make sure that you have taken it in a time period that will allow you to get into PA school and it's, you know, like not dead in the water. So don't take it your freshman year of undergrad because by the time you're ready to get into PA school, if you don't do well in the GRE um, or you need to get more healthcare experience, then you only have one year to do so. So it's essential to just kind of map that out. So if you have thought about that, when you're gonna take your GRE, you're on the right path to PA school. One of the things, the major, major things that you need for PA school is direct patient care experience. Now, people find that really hard to get because you're in school full time, so how am I gonna be working as like an LPN or an EMT or an emergency med tech or an MA? Like how am I gonna be able to get those hours? Excuses, excuses are lazy. Doing is the variable. It just, excuses are easy. Doing is hard. Hard is what brings you what you want. So I suggest that you get some type of certification, like even if there are schools that give you like a VOTEC type of thing in high school that you take to your undergraduate degree with you um, and you can do that through the summer. So if working as an MA through the summer or as an EMS or EMT getting certified during the summer, if you have a certification and then you're able to get healthcare experience while in undergrad, you are on the right path to PA school. I think if you hit those three points, you're right there. Like there is gonna be very little that you're going to need to get into PA school if you have all of those three points uh, taken care of because your personal statement, you can write that at the end of your junior year, um, you know, the middle of your senior year. Getting your recommendation letters, again, you can get that during your senior year of undergrad. But I think it's very difficult for individuals to find patient care experience and or shadowing experience. And so with that being said, trying to get those things already lined up and set up from your freshman, sophomore year, even junior year of um, undergrad is essential in helping you be on the right path to PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Please follow me on Instagram at PA and subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.